Then I played my old shit, it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my 6'4". Jocking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Went to the park to get the scoop. Knuckleheads out there, cold shooting some hoops. A car pulls up. YouTube, what's the deal? It's your boy, Ill Will. I'm here with this NBA 2K15. My career gameplay today for you guys and y'all told y'all I wasn't done playing this NBA 2K15 and today we got the Electra and D'Angelo Davis in Euro League game. I want to say number six getting ready to head into the latter part of the season, but D'Angelo Davis still has a lot of work to put in and you guys man I'm thinking about um going ahead and like changing my my guy's name i might change this guy this guy's name for 2k16 i think i'm about changing his name to trey brown man so i got trayvon brown on madden and trey brown on um 2k i think i like the name trey and i think i'm gonna go with brown because that that's my um that's the other part of my family's name they they browns so uh i fucks with that last name so i'm gonna fuck i think i'm gonna name my dude trey brown if y'all if y'all don't mind if y'all don't mind man you know Still same position as D'Angelo Davis, same makeup, just a little, just different name, you know, just different name. But um, so y'all, today we got we got D'Angelo Davis, and right here he almost committed a turnover by the point guard. D'Angelo pulling up on the baseline, get buckets right there, knocking that shot down. So the score is four to two early in the game. D'Angelo Davis got the ball doing a half spin, top of the key, all the way to the basket, dunking it down hard, dunking over. The play, the center. Look at that from Istanbul dunking over the center, 35.2 inch vertical. And y'all, man, I know this is completely off topic. And um, please let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like to see Madden 16 Ultimate Team, man. If you guys want to see that, man? I will upload that. I've been playing that a lot lately. Been doing these solo challenges all day. Matter of fact, that's why this video is coming out so late. D'Angelo Davis, by the way, knocking down a three. But um, let me know if y'all want to see that on this channel. So right here, D'Angelo with the ball, step back in the corner, crossover, getting all the way to the paint. Amazing athleticism move by D'Angelo Davis. Getting the shot to go down right there on a nice reverse layup. Real smooth by D'Angelo Davis, man. Real smooth. So right here, they're knocking down the three to cut the lead to 14. Cut the lead down to 5, 19, 14 at that point in the game. So now skipping ahead to the third quarter, the score is 26-24. The Electra on defense. D'Angelo playing some good off-ball defense on his man right here. And the Electra did pick up Ryan Hollins out of the free agents. Ended up bringing him overseas from the NBA. So right here, they're just raining in threes now. The score is 32-26. And D'Angelo knows that he have to do something to stop this. Stop the bleeding. Stop stop, um, stop this run that the team that their uh, opposite team is on. So right here, Ryan Hollins getting a nice bucket right there. Score is 32-28. He's really helped us out on the defensive end. And D'Angelo Davis is really like passing and playing with him under the rim to be a nice little rim protector. So right there, Forte knocking down a clean three. Nothing but net. Score is 34-31 right now. They got the ball at the top of the key. Wide open mid-range jump shot, knocking it down to extend their lead to five. So right here. The Electra has the ball. D'Angelo Davis doing a behind the back move, losing his defender all the way, spinning move to the paint, knocking it down. Easy layup. Beautiful move by D'Angelo Davis. This kid has a array of moves that is unprecedented that we have not seen here in the EuroLeague ever before. And we can't wait to see what this kid does in the NBA. So right here, D'Angelo Davis right here with the ball. Going all the way to the basket, getting fouled hard. Going to the line, gonna shoot two free throws. Y'all know the drill. No dribble, no spin. Gonna get that free throw to go in right there. Lead down to six, no dribble, no spin. Gonna get that free throw to bounce in also to cut the lead down to five. So D'Angelo Davis has the ball with 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Seeing what he's gonna do right here, getting a pick from Tyus. Gonna try to pass it to Tyus, look like end up hitting the wrong target. So right here he is up, get past his man, going, dunking it down two hands hard. Dunking it down over two defenders with no regard for human life. I told you guys, D'Angelo is a threat under that rim when he gets close to the rim. So right here, D'Angelo with the ball, or D'Angelo getting the up screen from Tyus, pump faking, using the screen from Tyus, again knocking down the layup, cutting that lead to one. D'Angelo looks like he's going on a little bit of a run himself. Ryan House with the ball at the top of the key, that's not where we want to have the ball. D'Angelo backs it out, does a signature, size up, gets a screen from Ryan Hollis, pulls up a midi and knocks it down. Nothing but net to cut the lead back to one. D'Angelo Davis is making his impact on the game today. 
So right here, the score is 46-44, 243 left in the game. The, the Electra have the ball. D'Angelo, you know D'Angelo Davis has been hot all game, so it's going to go to him. Right here, he's getting it at the top of the key. Seeing what's going to do with it. Crossover. Pull up. Ends up passing it to the point guard. Gets it right back. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Forte with the ball. Shoot. And a three ends up missing that one right there. That's a big miss right there. If they could have hit that one. And they, they end up cherry picking, leaking out. Easy to hand jam for it's the ball. So right here, the score is 48-44. D'Angelo in the post. See what's going to do with it. Ends up passing it to the point guard. Looking, he should have shot that three. I don't know what the decision making right there was. He was not confident in his shot. So, right here, ball goes to D'Angelo out to Forte. Seeing what Forte is gonna do it back to D'Angelo. D'Angelo for three, knocking it down 48 47. And uh, it's the ball calls a timeout. So, right here, scores 50 to 47. D'Angelo making his man do an animation, but ends up turning the ball over. And they leak out and get another fast break dunk. So the score is 54-51. D'Angelo tried to draw the foul right there. We thought it should have been a foul. He thought it should have been a foul. The whole arena thought it should have been a foul. But they did not call it. 54-58 is the final score. It's the ball wins. D'Angelo Davis with another good performance. But he maybe he could have made a few better decisions in the late stretch. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you follow all the links in the description below. And I'm going deuces.